here to move a mention of urgent public importance because of the time frame involved. And it's a call for the compliance of the Nigerian police force with the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and to ensure proper investigation into the death of late Mr. Usifo Ataga. Mr. Chidi Maoduku, a 300 level mass communication student of the University of Lagos, was arrested on Wednesday, 23rd June, over the murder of Chief Executive Officer Super TV, Mr. Usifo Ataga, in a service apartment in the Lake area of Lagos. Aware that since the arrest of Ms. Chidi Maoduku, she has been paraded around, granting interviews to various several news platforms, including the Nigerian Television Authority causing the internet and news media to be agog with the discussion and dissecting the matter. This is despite the fact that the police have already launched an investigation into the matter. Further aware that the law of Nigeria does not allow for social media trials and matters that are sub, sub this meaning before the court or not yet judicially decided. These are not to be discussed by the media or to the media by the police. Further aware Sorry, cognizant that Section 36.5 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended, provides that every person who is charged with a criminal offence shall be presumed to be innocent until he is proved guilty. Thus, so long as Ms. Ojuku has not been proven guilty by the Court of Competent Jurisdiction, she is not to be labelled a criminal or paraded about to conduct interviews on a case currently under investigation. Rather, the police are to conduct a prop proper investigation and allow the court to consider the matter and make, all, make an informed judgment. Concerned that if Mrs. Oju, Ms. Ojuku continues to be paraded about for a social media trial, it could affect the determination and outcome of the case, as well as amount to a breach of her fundamental right to fair hearing, especially where she is labeled or treated as one guilty of a crime. Therefore, I'm asking the House and my prayers as follows. Resolve to call on the Nigerian police to conduct a proper investigation into the matter and refrain from parading Ms. Chidima around to grant interviews on the matter under investigation. Call on the Inspector General of Police to call all police personnel to order and ensure that there is no repeat of this type of violation of human rights and media access to arrested persons in future and therefore avoid compromising the case in the court of law. This is to ensure future cases are not treated in the same manner. Also ensure that Ms. Ojuku, the accused, does not die in custody or commit suicide while awaiting trial, as in some past cases. So I so move, Mr. Speaker. I rise, Mr. Speaker, to second the motion as moved by my colleague, Honorable Tolu Shadipe Agwande. I so second. Those in favor, please say aye. Just get to say nay. Aye. 